Hello, hello guys! Welcome to the channel again. No for 49 ADV, Greg here. Look at this beautiful day in British Columbia. Uh, today is a special day. Uh, today we are doing the first episode of a series. It's gonna be called Swapping Keys. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go with the uh, D80 and uh, we're gonna basically exchange our keys with another big bike um, and uh, yeah so we are starting today with ta -ta -ta, a beautiful KTM 1290 SAR uh, owned by this gentleman named Ken super cool guy I met him before and uh, so yeah we're gonna meet today swap our keys and see what this beast is made of and uh, at the end yeah but at the end we're gonna decide do i keep my uh, africa twin or do i get a ktm does he keep his ktm or is he gonna be interested in uh, an africa twin that's gonna be the uh, the principle of the video right there that's sh that should be fun so guys yeah four hours uh swapping keys four hours on each other's bike and then we'll know what we like better at the end and maybe uh, I'll give a little bit of clarity for you guys too to see um, maybe you're hesitating uh, we are very close bike the, in terms of weight or oh, power yeah, the KTM you know KTM they, they like their power so they have a little bit more juice ah! like almost 55 horsepower or more <laughs> so that's gonna be also interesting on that uh, on that level uh, yeah, so same weight, much more power, um, and and yeah, same but different. So we'll see what it is, and uh, hopefully you enjoy uh, that new series. Hello guys, uh, Greg with uh, Nova 49 DV here uh, in front of me, the beautiful uh, KTM 1290 SAR and with me Ken, uh, the owner of this uh, beautiful bag. Um, welcome to this new series, we're gonna do what's called uh, swapping keys and uh, basically we trust each other to uh, give each other skis for a few hours and, uh, and see what we like uh, about uh, each other's bike and at the end, uh, do we keep it? Do we exchange it? Do whatever, you know. So Ken, this is your bike, obviously. Uh, this uh, beautiful uh, KTM. What is? What made you choose this bike? What? What? Dakar. Got you there, Dakar. <laughs> Probably Dakar had a huge influence. Um, I love the orange. I love the way it looks on a bike. Um, I came from a 500 EXEF, so another KTM product. Um, it's got a very distinctive sound, as you mentioned right away, as soon as you started it up. That's uh, very appealing to me as well. And that's coming from a world of Hondas and old old school Makos. So, um, And it's also a big enough bike for a guy my size. Uh, I sat on the 790s and 890s and it just felt very awkward. And physically, this is a, it's a big bike and it just kind of fits my, my body and my riding style quite well. So now we know why you chose the bike. Um, tell me two or three things you absolutely like about it and you like your you will never you know compromise compromise on. <laughs> I love the power the power scares me um, it there's always seems to be something there if I need it um, that's one of the big things I do I like the way the cockpits laid out I find that very comfortable and appealing to me I know a lot of uh, BMW people like their nav down low I like it up close to my eye line so I'm not looking down at it if I have mm. to reference it it's easy for me to see standing up in the pegs as well um, and again I did mention the size but just the, the geometry of the bike seems to fit my my body quite well I've ridden some BMWs of course I have the stint on your your African twin and 
again, your bike set up for you, and if I had a twin set up for me, it'd be probably a different story as well, yeah. like anything else. Um, so there's the power, there's the, the aesthetics of it. Uh, I like the cockpit. It's just, I don't know, I think I'd have a hard time just picking something very, very specific and going, these are the things that yeah. would have to happen with another bike, because I feel like I could probably get used to almost any bike. I got the rope portion of the, uh, of the test here, going to save. Behind me is the uh, fantastic Ken on the Africa Twin. And uh, yeah, this thing is uh, super nice. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like, so, put a check mark on the, on the road portion. Quite comfortable. The gearing is a little bit different from the Africa Twin, but you get used to it pretty quick. And of course, Ken has all these nice comfy modes here with the big screen and whatnot, so it, it does make it much more comfortable to ride for sure. Still sounds like a KTM, yeah, we're gonna get some uh, turns here and see how this thing behaves in the turns. So yeah, you mentioned I, I rode this thing all the way here. We did the portion, uh, the the road portion, and the, a little bit of dirt road. Um, so same thing. It's my first time on this bike. What I was expecting, I was expecting, uh, of course, a ton of power. I look at the spec. I was like, ooh, 160 horsepower. All right, better be gentle on the on the throw. And um, surprisingly, I, it was more gentle than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. I was expecting more of a a roaring beast I'm like holy shit I'm gonna weedy right off the bat and I'm like oh, she's nice you know it's, 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 she's very good with me right now I don't know what the power level was set up uh, at uh, when I, I started riding it but it felt okay I had to get used to the clutch a little bit and but after five yeah five ten minutes I was happy there we're gonna do a, a little bit more um, off-roady and we're gonna do we're gonna film some some turns and see how it feels like how the thing Manage. We're gonna go uphill because you wanted to try also the uh, the stack peg. So we're gonna try it. that. There's a nice little uphill over there. So that's gonna be uh, the next part of the uh, of the video here. We got the chit chat. Yeah, so, so the, the topic of the day, uh, you got to ride the uh, the Africa Twin. What was when we talked about it before? When I told you about the project, what was, what did you expect from the Africa Twin? Except that you know, obviously, it's not adjusted to your uh, size and 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 and, and gabarit or whatever. But what did you expect from it? So what did you? I wasn't sure what to expect. I kind of prefer to go in blank slate, low, set the bar low, and either way better chance of being impressed by it. I was, like you said, other than the geometry and sizing and all that good stuff, I, and then going back to a cable clutch versus a hydraulic clutch, something to get used to again a little bit as well, which is fine. And again, figuring out where your friction zones are compared to mine, it's all different as well. Um, impressed me too, is the gearing seems to be a little bit different. I think you mentioned that on my bike as well. Um, especially, um, I found I was doing I was doing higher speeds at lower in lower gears. So, mm. for example, the ride in here was mostly second gear, and I, and on my bike probably 
I'd be doing that three, four, somewhere in there. Um, okay. So there might be something to do with sprocket sizes involved here as well. But um, as far as shipping, that was all very smooth, very Honda-ish. So, <laughs> you know, of course, having ridden some Hondas and uh, smaller bikes in the past, but uh, surprisingly comfortable. Again, like if that was set up for me, it probably would be very much like this. I think it could get pretty comfortable on it pretty quickly. Uh, cockpit again, just getting used to, I think we both talked about it en route over the comms. It was like, oh, this is, I think I went to put my signal on once and, and my, my, my <laughs> signal is above the horn and yours is below the horn. So I was like, <laughs> like oops. So, but no, overall it's a great ride. Um, sounds a little bit different, of course. And, um, I think a lot of times you get used to a bike, you tend to shift more based on sound and anticipation than you do anything else. No, there's nothing telling you to shift. It's a feeling and a yeah. sound sort of thing. So. What? All right, um, so we talked about what we like about each, each other's bike, uh, the feeling that it brings us. Um, so what's the, uh, the conclusion? You want, you're the guest, you, you start. Oh, I, was, I, I enjoy I'm enjoying this bike. It's a lot of fun. Um, like we were just discussing, I don't think I would sell the KTM and jump right into the African Twin. However, when the day comes that I gotta put this old girl down, put her out to pasture. I would say the Africa Twin is not out of the running. I mean, I've always seen them, I've always admired them. They always look like a nice bike to ride. Um, I would definitely want to explore further. Um, hopefully, I would have a, a friend that had one that I could take it and be a little bit more aggressive with it. Uh, have it for a period of time where I could kind of set it up geometry wise to better sit my body and make a decision that way. I do know a couple brands that I don't have a whole lot of interest in, but uh, I think I would keep the twin in the running. Wow, well, that's, uh, that's, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, for me, um, almost the same thing. Um, if I was to change bike, um, I think I would probably not go for the KTM. Um, not that I have anything against the brand. Uh, there's always the question of uh, the, the rumors of the liability of the KTM. Uh, that's why I'm with a Japanese bike, but it's, it's, it's completely uh, up to whatever people. Um, there's not enough difference between the two bikes for me to, to go and, and, and say this is an upgrade. It is, it, it is a nice bike, but it, it's like a lateral move, right? Yeah. So if you, if you want, it's like in life, if you want, if you want to move on, you kind of have to upgrade a little bit uh, at the time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you back your, your lovely keys and I'm going to take mine and uh, I'm going to go back to my baby here. And uh, you guys, uh, conclusion, ride what you ride, do what you want, uh, make it fit for you fall in love with the bike, do your own research as usual. And most of it, if you have a good friend, like I have Ken here and you can sit on the bike and, and give a little rip, that will be the best, right? We talked about that before. Uh, do not buy a bike because it looks good on paper. You need to sit on it. You need to sit on it and, and feel like you're at home on it. Okay, here you go guys. Thank you for um, joining us on this first uh, episode ever of Swapping Keys. Uh, thank you, Ken, for being the first uh, courageous <laughs> hero uh, to join us. Um, as usual, you guys, um, you know, subscribe, don't subscribe, do what you want, enjoy your ride, just be safe out there. Uh, it's summer, there's a lot of us out there, but still, um, watch yourself on the road and enjoy your ride.